Hello, welcome to next L degustation. This time I have a gin, original gin from Whitley Nail. Um, Forty-three percent ABV. Uh, they say handcrafted uh, dry gin distilled with nine botanicals in a copper still. Distilling for eight generations. Inspired by captivating flavors of South Africa, fresh citrus, baobab fruit, and aromatic Cape gooseberries. Ooh! But it's only a few ingredients, isn't it? <clears throat> well, on the website at least they are uh, saying what they used. So it was juniper, coriander um, seed, cassia bark, orris root, angelica root, Sweet orange, lemon, cape gooseberry, and baobab. <coughs> well, nice looking bottle. It's black, so we can't see the actual color of the gin. But um, I'm just assuming uh, it's clear. <laughs> so let's let's open it. Okay, here it is. Uh, maybe you are curious about this little fellow here uh, with the purple box. It was attached to it like this or like this. Yeah, like this. So the next uh, degustation, I will have uh, <coughs> this sample. Uh, it's uh, with the nail, rhubarb, and ginger gin with the same strength, forty-three uh, percent. Right, so it's going next. Let's put it aside and concentrate on this uh, bottle. Cork, very soft. Oh well, that's how I expected. Uh, it's perfectly clear. Oh, nice aroma. Nice juniper straight away. Okay, mm. it's quite dense, nice alcohol legs, yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Ooh, <clears throat> nice strong aroma, juniper strength straight away, but then you have a gentle floral herbal aromas with some of uh, citrus yeah quite refreshing citrus and juniper um, well it's quite nice gentle maybe a little bit spicy and like I said floral oh pretty nice uh, do you know what? I'm very interested in taste, so cheers. Hmm, interesting. So we have very nice juniper, that's what I expected, and how it should be, really. <coughs> then Softness, a touch of sweetness, just a touch. It's quite dry, really, <clears throat> uh, but the texture is quite smooth and um, velvety. Uh, then you have spiciness, a little bit of um, citrus, zestiness. Uh, nice uh, spices coriander yeah all the all the mix but also uh, you have like a maybe because i don't recognize the baobab right and, and uh, um, this gooseberry things uh, but it is a very nice touch to it right it's slightly 
floral, slightly citrusy, uh, slightly tart, and this is just before uh, peppery uh, alcohol notes are approaching. And then you have very nice soft finish, which is surprising because it's chocolatey. Hmm. Yeah, you have a, like a chocolate, maybe cocoa aftertaste. Well, interesting, definitely interesting. Um, and you know what? This is um, like showing crafts, uh, you know, craft, because they put so different, a few different ingredients, and they changed whole like experience with the gin, and. The, makes it very interesting yes look most of the ingredients are quite usual right so we have juniper coriander uh, orris root angelica root sweet orange lemon yes cassia bark mm, maybe it's not maybe very like cinnamon driven no but adds a little bit of spiciness. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's worth to try, definitely. Um, and I hope uh, you will find all those ingredients back in this uh, rhubarb and ginger uh, flavored version. So, wait for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed this gin, so please like it, please subscribe to my channel and when you don't already hit the notification button on the of the bell, it will remind you about every new video on the channel so you will be up to date and because of this you will not miss any other extensions. Cheers!